I understand why you took both well samples and soil samples for both of the sites. Um, but I'm curious about the surface water, particularly in the canal and the ditch. Um, maybe why surface water samples were not taken and what's the likelihood of contamination either from CSX, particularly in that southeast corner where there's no groundwater and soil contamination going on right next to the um, canal there, as well as flowing off site uh, at 7 l Just, you know, I guess two questions. Why were surface water samples never taken? And then um, what's the likelihood of some of those materials leaking into the canal in an area where I know downstream people see fish and the risk of the Okay. I think mine's going to be easier. Okay. Uh, the <coughs> about that, but we felt that there was enough coverage with the surface water sampling that CSX is required to do as part of their stormwater discharge permit, and also the sampling of surface water that they do within their facility boundaries, that we had enough data. And the focus was the community concerns we heard about with the drinking water and the sewer. Um, to let you know, the, the program that I work for, the, the hazardous waste program, we're planning to do a joint unannounced inspection at CSX, along with the folks that govern their surface water discharge. So we can make sure that there's no gaps in our inspection to make sure that we're all talking to each other. And that's going to be coming up in the future. I can't tell you much, of course, because it's going to be a surprise inspection. Okay, I'm sorry. I've been jumping up.